G'day and welcome back to another Minecraft modless video. And today we're going to go through some more Forge based mods that have been updated to 1.18, including some more classic ones you may not have seen for a while. So leave a like and let's get started. Starting off with Nature's Compass. By crafting the Nature's Compass, you get given the ability in order to use this compass to find any form of biome that you're after. By going into the by right clicking on the compass, you can click a biome or select a biome that you want to go and find with this compass. And it will give you the exact coordinates and how many blocks you are away from the closest one that it finds. It will also put in the direction of the closest biome of your choice. Moving on to Aquaculture 2. Aquaculture 2 expands the fishing system in Minecraft, adding in over 30 new fishes to catch with any rod, which there's now four new rods, as well as the typical difficult vanilla one, as well as the ability to get new loot and bits and pieces from the mod itself, such as Neptune's Beauty, Treasure Chest, Lock Boxes, and Boxes. Basically, in Neptune's Beauty, you have the potential ability to collect some special new items and new tools based around Neptune's items, which is like slightly better than diamond. Next we have the mod known as Create. Now I'm sure you've heard of this mod before, it's definitely had a bit of a popular year it has, and it's honestly a really, really good mod. Basically, it's steampunk being added into Minecraft. It just allows you to have a bit more of a complicated system using like things like air, fire, lava, all these other bits and pieces, manual labor, all these other bits and pieces together to make like some more machinery based products. There are so many, there's so much to this mod that I'm afraid it's really impossible to give a proper, good and well executed description of it in the basis of a short minute aside from say that it's basically a steampunk mod for minecraft and just expands upon what redstone gives us it makes it slightly more complicated but also slightly more fun at the same time this one's always recommended to go off a collection of other mods as well though because it does tend to over complicate the beginning of minecraft as it requires you to get quite far into vanilla before you can really start taking advantage of this mod anyhow moving into the next mod we've got construction wand with a construction wand you can place multiple blocks up to 1020 at once making it far easier to actually build buildings because it basically allows you to extend the face that you're facing making building far more efficient and quicker to do than what it would normally be ultimately this could be useful to you it could be not so useful to you depends on what type of buildings you're doing it but it also makes it easier to make like long ass bridges that are like five or six blocks wide at a lot quicker rate instead of doing it one block at a time you can do like three of the blocks at a time for the bridge or five of the blocks depending how wide your bridge is it just makes building overall quicker when it requires thick and large walls. Anyhow, mo last mod of this video, I talked about applied energistics, and that's a mod that requires the use of power. Now, another way to get it is using the mod known as Extreme Reactors, which basically, if you need more energy for your machines, get an extreme amount of it. This has nuclear power towards Minecraft using reactors. These are ultimately extraordinarily useful if you want just an excess amount of power for any of your power necessary builds, and ultimately, it's a really cool and interactive system allowing you to big make these big complicated reactors or just very simple ones that are very basic and require next to no maintenance and hey if you made it this far in here go check out my secondary channel crazy Air hd as i'm going to be live streaming later today with some more minecraft mods either way moving to the next one we've got the tool belt the tool belt allows you to just quick swap between a set of tools depending on how many you have in the slots inside the tool belt by default the tool belt will have two slots in total but by using pouches you can add more slots in there in order to have more tools in the tool belt you can quick swap between Moving on, we've got a mod known as Trash Cans. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory. This gives you access to four different types of trash cans. Three of them are unique based ones. One, one's an item trash can, one's a liquid trash can, and one's an energy trash can. And the fourth trash can is the ultimate trash can that can trash slash void all items and liquids and energies. Ultimately, really, really useful that you can transfer things into it and filter it as well. And all these other bits and beautiful pieces that are ultimately very, very useful if you've got a bunch of excess junk in your system. Moving to our next mod, we've got more villages. More villages adds a collection of new villages such as the miner, hunter, florist, engineer, endologist, forester, and so, so many more that gives you a much more availability and trading list of different items that you may not have been able to trade for beforehand. For example, with the ocean graphica, you have the ability to trade for treasure maps, trade for the nautilus shells, for the heart of the sea, for emeralds, sea lanterns, and sponges, and so many other bits and pieces such as that. You've 
course, you got the guy for the never, which gives you never base items and other things along those lines. Basically, it opens up for a bunch of new items that you may not have been able to trade before, or something painfully annoying to get, and just allows for villagers to trade for them after a certain point of the game or after a certain workstations were available. Moving on to our next mod, we've got Iron Furnaces. Now, these type of mods are pretty self explanatory. Iron Furnaces are just allowing you to have far better furnaces than the typical thing. You can basically upgrade your furnaces using other different resources such as copper, iron, gold, diamonds, emeralds, etc, etc, making your furnaces better and better, which each level making to cook things far faster and burn fuel at a slower weight than normal in comparison to the items. Overall, very useful mod if you like cooking things and just ultimately makes furnace cooking for the large quantity of items far quicker. Moving into the next mod, we've got Let's Sleeping Dogs Line. The idea behind this is very, very simple. It's the literal meaning of the name. Basically speaking, when a dog is tamed and is sitting down, when you're away from it, it will lay down into one of different various poses and will get back up again once you get close enough. This is a client side mod and does not require you to install it on the server as only you actually see the effects of this as it doesn't exactly do anything in actual reality aside from look cool. Moving into our next mod of choice, we've got the obsidian boat mod. Basically the idea of this is you can craft a boat using five obsidian, the exact same recipe as a normal boat. When you use it in water, it will sink down to the bottom because well, it's a heavy obsidian boat, but it will act like a normal boat inside of lava and it will not take damage and you can use it to swim around the nether kind of similar to how a strider works without the need of a saddle. Moving into our next mod, we've got a mod known as Sit. Pretty sure you can guess by the title what this is, but the idea is that Sit allows you to sit and use slabs and stairs like chairs. Simply right click the top side of the right side up slab or stair block with an empty hand to sit on it. To exit, you press the key, use it, exit a minecart, which is ultimately really, really cool, useful thing just to make a little bit more of a beautiful thing towards it, I guess. <laughs> Moving on, we've got Forgiving Void. Basically, this just makes uh, the void a little bit different and ultimately is really cool of an added effect if you really think about it. Basically, you're not gonna hate the void anymore. So of dying in the void, you'll fall back down from the sky. Despite the large falling height, you can still survive as long as you had full health when landing. Basically speaking, when you fall down to the bottom of the void, you'll be teleported back to the top, I stumbled over words there, and fall back down to the world, and you will survive if you have full health. If you don't have full health, you won't survive and you will die, so the void killed you regardless, but at least you don't lose your items unless you fall right back down to that void section again. Have you ever wanted to feel the pain of what you experienced in Minecraft? Then in Enhanced visuals will do that for you. The idea behind this mod is just to make Minecraft a lot more immersive by adding effects to your HUD that pretty much express when you're taking damage, when you're hurt, when you're in pain, when you're bleeding, when you're dying, all these other beautiful bits and pieces that can either be really useful if you want to have some enhanced visuals or could be pretty spooky at the same time in let's say a horror based spooky map scenario or something along those lines. Moving on, we've got the Starter Kid mod. The Starter Kid mod allows players who join a world for the first time to receive items set in a config. It is possible to set items to any specific slot in the inventory, to the offhand, and to the armor slots. Basically, it will allow you to have custom starting kids based on wherever your world is, and you can always make adjustments to the config later on down the line. Let's say your server is like, let's say a few months down the road, and most people have got like a collection of Neverite armor and Elytra and Neverite tools, you can give whoever's new to join some cl almost close to near top end sets, maybe some diamond tools with a few enchantments on it to help boost them back in to catch up with everyone else so they don't get left behind, or many other things on those line. Either way, check out the playlist on screen now if you want to go check out some more mods that I've showcased for 1.18 and I hope you did enjoy this video and have a good rest of your day, night or evening.